40 square miles of woodland were devastated in the eruption. 57 people and millions of animals were killed. Today, a ghostly forest still floats on the surface of Spirit Lake. Across the landscape of fallen timber, life is reappearing at a rate that has astonished biologists. Deep within the crater, a lava dome, formed in St. Helens' volcanic throat, has risen over a thousand feet. The mountain is rebuilding itself. With his fellow geologists from the Cascades Volcano Observatory, Dr. Norman Banks is credited with saving thousands of lives. Our monitoring data convinced the governor, who was also a scientist, that an eruption possibly of significant magnitude was developing. Since the explosive eruptions of 1980, we have had to work very close to the center of activity, that is the dome itself, to detect the changes that allow us to forecast the next eruption. You can't predict future eruptions of a volcano until you know its character. Some of the instrumentation we use can be as simple as our own senses, but really to provide data that's quantifiable, we have to resort to high-tech equipment such as seismometers, deformation equipment, and gas analysis. What we're after here is to obtain the ability to save thousands of lives repeatedly around the Ring of Fire. Several weeks after the team left the mountain, the lava dome exploded without warning. Volcanologists foresee even greater eruptions in the future. For the forces which created and destroyed Mount St. Helens continue, powerful beyond our imagining. Deep within the earth, above a core of iron and nickel, is a mantle of lighter elements heated by natural radioactivity. Over millions of years, the mantle behaves like a heated fluid. The thin plates of the earth's crust float like huge rafts adrift on the fluid mantle. The heavier plates of the spreading seafloor sink beneath the continental plates, creating earthquakes around the Pacific Rim. The sinking plates release super hot fluids which melt the mantle above them. The lighter magma rises, forming complex volcanic conduits and immense magma chambers on its way to eruption. repeated eruptions, this tectonic process has formed the volcanoes of the Ring of Fire.
Mount Tsukurajima is one of hundreds of volcanoes which make up the island arc of Japan. The fire drummers of Mount Tsukurajima enact the fury of the volcano. Sakurajima explodes in scores of ash eruptions which blanket the island and the port city of Kagoshima. evacuation drill commemorates the terrible eruption of Sakurajima volcano in 1914. The islanders live in harmony with an active volcano which affects nearly every aspect of their lives. Across the bay in the city of Kagoshima, even the shopping malls have been designed with domed skylights to keep out the regular storms of ash. Life goes on for a people living in the shadow of destruction. Kagoshima survives in part because of the vigilance of the scientists who live and work at the center of the bay, on the very flank of the volcano. Here, every fluctuation of the volcano is carefully monitored by a team of volcanologists headed by Dr. Kosuke Kamo. Vigilance is a way of life in a country with more than 50 active volcanoes and more than 10,000 earthquakes every year. In the great Tokyo earthquake of 1923, more than 140,000 people perished, mostly from the fires started by the quake. Today, the people of Tokyo are part of a national earthquake preparedness program designed to save thousands of lives. Buildings are structurally engineered to survive the tremendous forces generated by earthquakes. No people on Earth are as prepared for natural disaster as the Japanese. Humans are not the only primates adapted to life on the ring of fire. Heat from volcanic sources warms the hot springs of Nagano, allowing the Japanese snow monkey to survive as the world's most northerly species of monkey.
In Beipu, people have also learned to live with volcanic powers, harnessing their geothermal energy for health and relaxation. The therapeutic hot springs of Kirishima and the lava sand baths of Beipu have become popular health spas, a respite from the relentless pace of modern life, which in Japan is always just a step away. Three thousand miles southwest, where the ring of fire crosses the equator, Buddhas keep watch over the volcanoes of Indonesia at the temple of Borobudur. Writer anthropologist Lawrence Blair has lived in Indonesia for many years, studying the ancient bond between its volcanoes and its people. The temple of Borobudur. It was built in this highly unstable valley to commemorate the achievement, not of architectural engineering, but of serene harmony in the human heart. For ten centuries, it has survived earthquakes and eruption, which have long since eclipsed the enlightened empire which built it. For Indonesia, is the most fertile and eruptive nation on the planet. Perhaps the long memory of a shifting, unstable Earth has taught the Indonesians to rely. 